can't see it. Okay. Um, for, for more of my distant, ancient past, um, I chose Attila the Hun. So, historical figure, just an absolute marauder of, of that time. Is he Came your center? From the, I, I would call him a center, yeah. Yeah. Nobody's um, going to want to get in the post just, with that. Just pass him the ball and he slaughters 5,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's just and, like Shaquille you know, swinging his elbow. And there goes the city. Exactly. All the best stories about Shaq. I don't care how many points Shaq averaged. I don't care. I want to know how many backboards he broke. I want to know, <laughs> you know, I want to know the anecdotal stories. So Attila the Hun, two great things. He, he started in Central Asia, like I said, and he just went west toward Rome. And he just killed and slaughtered and everything between Central Asia and Rome. And Go away, when, he got, when he get in, got into um, the country of Italy, there's a story about um, the Pope promising, you know, the, the Pope sent one of his, um, you know, communicators, diplomats, whatever you want to call it, ahead to Attila and said, Told it if you leave country. Rome in peace... <laughs> Yeah, he sent his uh, Kaylee McEnany over. <laughs> um, the Pope has never lied. <laughs> it's been totally up front with you, Attila. And, and he made a deal. He said, if you leave Rome in peace, you will receive a holy crown from the Pope. So he's trying to bribe him. You know, this is the Roman Empire, be it after its, its height, but it was still the Roman Empire. And the Pope was, was scared enough at that time to try to negotiate with this man. Um, there was a quote about him that, that goes like this. He was a man born into the world to shake the nations, the scourge of all the lands, who in some way terrified all mankind by the dreadful rumors noised abroad concerning him. He was haughty in his talk, rolling his eyes his, hither and thither, so that the power of his proud spirit appeared in the movement of his body. He was indeed a lover of war. So, pretty uh, pretty good one. So, mm -hmm. um, Jake, if you have the Pope on your team, you're out of luck, because Attila beat Pope. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, so I need to make some changes real quick. But ironically, <laughs> yeah, before he got to Rome... Just... Yeah. No, um, before he got posts. to Rome... He died while celebrating, you know, his marriage to his however many wife of an esophageal rupture. So he's a hard partier too. Yeah, that just sounds like bad acid reflux. Right? Work hard, play hard. <laughs> he's the kind of guy. He he's going to win the bar fight, and then he's going to go pass out in the bathroom and <laughs> hit his head on the toilet or something. So it's, it's going to be rough. But did he win the fight or not? Though he won the you know, fight. Won the fight. Back on, Undefeated, so died of heartburn. Yeah, 